Okay, you're going to check what we did, what you did independently or with a group. So the flow of electrons through a wire is an electric circuit. Okay. When a string of a guitar vibrates, it's producing what? When you see the word vibrates, that's the big thing. Anything that vibrates is producing a sound. Okay, just like that girl's hair in the video, the moment the, the sound was going, her hair was vibrating and shaking. It says when the sun increases the total kinetic energy of the particles in your skin, your what increases? So in other words, your skin has potential energy the moment it is increasing in thermal energy. Thermal energy is also known as heat. The type of energy released when a match burns is a chemical energy. That's just like a chemical change. A chemical energy is happening when you have a chemical change, when something is burning. That's a chemical um, change, therefore that's chemical energy happening. Okay, You cannot undo a chemical change. And when chemical energy is happening, usually nine times out of ten you can't undo it, just like a battery. That is chemical energy. Alright, so now you've got energy that flows in a light bulb. What happens with a light bulb? Well, that is obviously light energy, but that's not allowing the light bulb to glow. Light energy isn't. What is able to go from a light bulb on to off is going to be your electrical energy. The total amount of potential and kinetic in a moving, also known as motion, is what is called its mechanical energy. All right, number seven. Which of these appliances is designed to convert? So you're going from electrical to sound. Does this have electrical to sound? Is this what this is designed? Does the printer have sound? Sure it does. Does the refrigerator have sound? Sure it does. Does an electric heater have sound? Sure it does. A music amplifier, does it have sound? Sure. One of these is designed for sound, and that is your D, music amplifier. Amplifier means you're amplifying the sound. The water in a swimming pool tends to be warmer in the daytime and cooler at night. What natural source of energy causes the difference? So you have warming. What is going to be warmer? Chemical, no. Solar, and first of all, natural. There's some natural things chemically, but this is not going to warm. This is either going to store or move, and this is going to vibrate. There's only one thing that makes anything warmer is solar energy. All right, number nine. So which is the best explanation for the differences in temperature? Okay, you've got your diagrams. You've got cups one through four. Which of those is going to be explanation? Explanation. Okay. And your answer is B. It's the kinetic energy because the kinetic is the movement. And remember, we said that temperature, the temperature is how fast or slow the particles move. Okay, so your kinetic is movement, and that is what temperature is. The less it's moving, the less kinetic energy, the lower the temperature. So obviously this is low, so this is going to be cold water. This is going to be your hottest water, so therefore your movement is going to be extremely high. So which of the following shows the correct order and amount of thermal energy in from greatest to least? And that is going to be D, because 2, excuse me, 2, 4, 3, 1, 2, 4, 3, and 1, least, greatest. All right. If the con uh, excuse me, containers in the diagram are touching, which of these describes the flow of heat between them? Okay, so if they were touching. So you're going to, sorry. So if they were touching, it's going to go from container 2 to container 1. Because it always goes from, sorry, let me find your question. It always goes from heat to cool, cooler area or cold. Energy moves from hot to cold. Hot to cold, two is hot, one is cold. Okay. 
number 12, which statement best describes the difference between an electrical insulator and a conductor? Same thing. Electrical insulator is the same thing as an insulator and a conductor of heat as well as electrical. Okay? A conductor is metal. An insulator is a non-metal. We did that with our electricity as well. The diagram shows a circuit which about the statement is true. Okay, so is this going to work? No, it's not going to work. Um, your answer is going to be C. The bells won't ring because these aren't connected. This must be connected to this in order for you to have a true loop. Okay, this is a series, but it's not going to work because there's no connection. Okay, so if you missed that, you chose A. 14, Ariel wants to build an electrical circuit with a device that can be turned on and off. What batteries, excuse me, what materials will she need? And it's going to be A, a battery, wire, a light bulb, and a switch. On and off, you must have a switch. And the diagrams for the four current electrical circuits, in which of the circuits will other bulbs remain lit when one burns out? What do you call that? You call that a parallel. Okay, so which one of these is a parallel? This one's a parallel, and this one's a parallel. Okay, so that would be 1 and 4, D. Because I can burn this one out, but it still has a loop here, still has a loop here, still has a loop here. If this one burn out, it can't go through it, so therefore that's not going to work. This is known as your battery, since hence the, you're in positive and negative. Um, number 16, you rub two balloons in your hair, your dry hair. Your hair is attracted to both balloons. Then you bring the balloons near each other. What will you observe? Okay, They should repel each other because if they are attracted to both, if your hair is attracted to both, that means, so if you're like, your hair is here, your balloon, your balloon, let's say your hair is a positive, that means it is a negative. So then I put my negatives together then they are going to repel one another. Okay, so again, this is your hair. And let's say it was a positive, then that must mean these are negative because opposites attract. Even if it was your hair like this and it was a negative, that means your balloons were positive. You put them together, those are positives. Positives don't go with positives. All right, and then what are the following type of heat energy? Again, it's motion, movement. From top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom. That is convection. Conduction is touching. You and conduction, you and touching. Radiation is bursting. Convection is going up, going down, going up, going down, going up, going down. Evaporation is not even heat transfer. So those are your only two, really, those are your only two heat energy transfers. But again, the only one that describes the picture is convection. Please make sure your papers are taken out of your workbook. I want you to make sure you take this Unit 5 home review to make sure you study this weekend. Your exam is on Monday. Please, please study.